So I just took a minute uh, to put together for you here. Um, coat. So here's your VC 420 um, Linux NIC in dual rotary setup. Both sides. And uh, I'll get this quote over to your guy. But um, we also talked about automation. So I wanted to show Linux Nicken. We call this our Tinder machine tending solution. It comes in a couple different configurations. Typically, we see a we see shelves with pallets, and we load a mill uh, with these pallets. Um, we have this. We call it the Charlie. So we have Alpha Bravo Charlie, right? three different versions we call this our Charlie typically we would use this to load a lathe so um, and this is just a, a mock-up real quick but this diameter can go up to about an inch and an eighth inch and a quarter and still stay too high and then after that we can go up to about uh, two two inches on offsets these red components are 3d printed so quick and easy to go from um, you know to change your parts over pretty pretty cheap obviously if you're gonna put a part inside this round it would need something behind here to support it um, but you know I can't render every application we talk about so this is just a placeholder so you can picture here a, a bolt carrier waiting to be picked up by the robot so you would have two bolt carriers per uh, per socket and on this one it's 10 across one two three four five six seven eight four five six seven eight nine across oh no there's a 10 I say that didn't look right 10 across and I think it was one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, ten by twelve. So you've got a hundred and twenty um, pickup, pick and place points. But each one of those has two options. So here you would have two hundred and forty bolt carriers uh, sitting on one face. So then you have four faces. So, 960 bolt carriers waiting outside your VC. Um, pretty nice. I don't know what your cycle time is, but, uh, you know, even if it was three minutes. Should have done all this math before I got on the radio here. Uh, 240 times 4, 960, times 3, 288, divided by 60. That's only 48 hours of unattended runtime. Now, something I don't typically promote is one robot running two machines, but in this instance, this would be a pretty good application for one tender uh, providing product to two different machines so we, potentially you could put a second VC on the other side of this guy and uh, if, if that's the case then you would get a full 24 hours roughly of unattended cycle time and with the VC and its pallet changing capabilities uh, I would have to imagine you'd be you know pretty strong into the 90% spindle efficiency there uh, and you'd be able to run realistically three shifts unattended so your guy would have to load a face but uh, you know that's not going to take an entire day and then he walks away and and your mills just keep running so um, even if you didn't have a pallet changing machine uh, you know the door open door closed time wouldn't be too horribly bad but um, with that you know one robot loading two spindles uh, it's not going to be super fast 
Um, I do have a company looking at ID chucking. I'll have more information on that in the next day or two, but I wanted to get this little teaser out to you.